Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use record takes to layers inside of Studio One. Now, what I'm gonna do first of all is to record a double track vocal into this track here called Abs Dub L2. So let's do that first of all. I'm gonna record that vocal just over the chorus. So let's try it now. But there you go. Okay, so we've got the vocal recorded into Studio One. Now say that I wanna replace some bits or just get some more takes so I've got some variations. Now there's a few different options. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is to leave the settings as they are and just record another vocal. But there you go. Okay, let's stop that there. Now say that I wanna go back to my old vocal, but I wanna keep, say like a middle section here of this vocal, but I still wanna use this take here earlier on in the take. Now it makes it a bit tricky as I've gotta set up another track, copy down the vocal that I've just recorded and just to move stuff about. So there's a few different options that we can use in Studio One to make our lives a lot easier. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to come down here and to open up my record panel. Now this opens up this record panel down here and we have a few options. So what I've got on at the moment is to replace the layers. So what that means is every time that I push record, it's actually recording over the layers. Now there is a way of getting those layers back, but it makes it quite fiddly. So what I'm gonna do is to take off, replace and choose takes to layers. Now let's, uh, let's record that vocal again. So there we've recorded a completely separate vocal. Now, as I've recorded that, this little button has appeared called Expand Layers. Now I can click on that, and there are the two different layers that I've recorded. So I can choose the different elements of those layers to make the perfect track. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in the next video. So I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. I hope you guys got something out of that, and I'll see you next time.